Monday, once in a lifetime experience is coming up for many New Yorkers. Monday will be the first total solar eclipse visible in the state in 99 years. But whether or not you can see it all depends on one thing, the weather, and it's a G thing. G thing presented by Northwell, who believes when we raise health, we raise everyone. Northwell, raise health. The excitement is building. On Monday afternoon, New Yorkers will be treated to a total solar eclipse. It's a magnificent phenomenon. Dr. Michael Shira is the curator of astrophysics at the Museum of Natural History. He says to get the best view, you gotta go north. The very best place to see it within easy traveling distance of New York City is Niagara Falls. There will be about three minutes of totality. That is, the moon will completely cover, 100% cover the disk of the sun. What is a New Yorker gonna see? At maximum, uh, you will see 90% of the sun covered. An hour after that, the sun will be back to normal. But no matter where you are, it all depends on the weather. You can have partial cloud cover. You just hope that the cloud isn't between you and the sun at the moment of totality. The elephant in the room here is you can go blind, right? You or, can. Or you can damage your retina. Absolutely. And you can do it in a short period of time? A fraction of a second. A fraction of a second right. if you don't obey the safety rules. That's correct. The best thing is to wear the glasses. Don't look at the sun ever. Ever. The eclipse inspires a sense of amazement, especially for scientists who are able to get a closer look. You see solar prominences, the loops of hot plasma that are bigger than the Earth coming off the edge of the sun. Scientists are also able to test Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity that goes way back to 1915. So the most valuable thing that scientists tend to do during eclipses is take their telescopes during totality and take pictures of the stars right around the sun. Why is that important? Well, because you want to test the theory of general relativity. This is our theory of gravity. While some people have been making eclipse bands for maybe a year, it's not news to everyone. Centuries ago, humans could predict that on April the 8th, 2024, with absolute accuracy down to the second, we knew that the moon was going to pass in front of the sun. Science has power. It pays to listen to scientists. Just make sure you don't miss this show in the sky. We're decades away from the next one. I'll be about 35 then. There you go. There You'll you go. 28. 26. 26. <laughs> Real life Benjamin Buttons there. He says something that uh, was uh, important, okay. I think, and, and you know the glasses are yes. really, really important. Make sure they're certified to do the right thing and that's protect your eyes. But if you look at the sun, it's so powerful during the eclipse, 90%, that it can burn the retina and the burn looks like the image of the yeah. partial so totality. Don't, so wow. you, get the glasses or do, do the pinhole. If you get the pinhole and you do it right. the other... Look the other way and then we'll project it. I mean, there's, yeah. You know what time it is now, right? It's going to be 3 o'clock. 3.25, I believe, is, is the, the, the key. Oh, the key time. <laughs> the, the key time. Am I right, G? Is that, is that so? 3, 3.25 on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the lasting part is probably uh, 40 minutes yeah. here, and the part that you're talking about is about two minutes. Yeah. But are right. we even in the line of sight here in the city? Well, the question is, what is what's the cloud, cloud cover? cover? I think it'll add to the drama. Are we in the line of sight? Well, you're always dealing with the city, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. the smog, whatever. It's going to be worth the sight, though. All, All right. right.